Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Sexton 2, it's the Tier 3 British SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Himmelsdorf and it's under the command of 4 8. And this is a replay from three years ago. Yes, it's been waiting for some time, but I finally got around to it. Game's underway. Well, the Sexton 2 actually came out of the Grizzly, which was the Canadian version of the M4. The British needed an SPG that they could use with the 25 pounder gun, and although they bought some M7 priests, they weren't really suitable for the British because they required the 105mm ammunition, and the British didn't produce it. They produced plenty 25 pounder ammunition. And, well, the Sexton 2 was built with the 25 pounder in mind. Now it looks like four ranks going on to top of the hill. You can see this particular Sexton was designed by Sir Rusty. And he's now aiming for the enemy, but well, none that are in sight yet. Yes, yeah, Sir Rusty made uh, quite a few skins for us back in when uh, the... Uh, the group started and we still got a lot of them and some of the members used them okay first enemy's turned up and it's getting absolutely hammered up on top of the hill We're not seeing the type of vehicle there but we are seeing our own ones and it was a panzer 2 and he just got wiped out Okay, most of our guys went up on the hill. It looks like most of the enemy actually went down the banana. If you're noticing a difference in my voice, I'm afraid, yes, I've had to change the microphone position again. Lost the swing arm, and uh, so I'm using a fixed position on the desk. So hopefully I'll find the sweet spot where it'll actually sound good eventually. Well, this is not good because the enemy is now virtually at our cap. And it looks like four rings having to go up on top of the hill. We're keeping power on numbers, but most of our guys went up on the hill, which is a bit of a mistake, and now they've all popped down the hill again to try and defend against the enemy tanks. But yeah, the enemy seems to have an advantage now. And yeah, we're starting to hemorrhage tanks. As you can see that most of ours are focused in one area. Okay, we've got an enemy tank over there, but we can't see which type it is. Fires around it, no just misses. And we're now down by three tanks. He's looking around for a target he can fire at. We can see the cap area and we notice the, an enemy tank, an M2 light going into the cap area. There's also a T2 medium somewhere nearby. We're now down by two. We were capping at the enemy end, but that guy got killed. He was a TKS-20. And now there's only four of us left, including four range. And he can't get a shot down onto the banana simply because the angles and there goes another one of our team, the T29. He seemed to be doing the best. But he's out. And now there's only two left. The LT Viz 38. And of course the Sexton. And well, the LT did manage to get a kill. And unfortunately now we've lost the LT Viz 38 as well. So four rates on his own, fighting against the enemy. And they're still capping, they've still got somebody in the cap. I think he's going to try and go down and get a reset. I don't think he's going to win the game, but at the very least he's going to get something out of it. He's got no hit points of damage at all yet. He's trying for a long range shot. Trying to angle it into the cap. No, that hit the building. He might as well just drive down there straight away and try and shotgun them. Okay, here, here it goes. 
you might as well do it because you've got nothing else to lose. Ten seconds until the cap is completed. He can get a shotgun. He'll get a reset and a defender. Yes! Well, he got the reset. Oh my god, he got a ram kill as well. Yeah, the Polish tank destroyer took a ram. And he's out. Or is it the Swedish tank destroyer? I think it's the Swedish one, sorry. Okay, we've got another enemy down at the end here. No, here comes the... Ouch. Yes, that was the M2. The M2 light had the machine gun. And, well, he pretty effectively took out 4 8 at close range. Oh, dear. Well, at least he got something out of it. Here's the end of battle results, and that was the third class tanker for four ranked in the sixth and two. But because he got a reset, he actually got a defender medal out of that one, so he got the bonus for that for courageous resistance. And because the second tank he hit, the pulled 42, when he hit him, he was actually going slower than the other guy. Um, when you, it says while driving an SPG, destroy an enemy vehicle by ramming. Uh, or and survive and you have to be going less than 10 kilometers an hour and he, he did destroy him and he did survive so he got the rock solid medal which is very difficult to get uh, most people never get it because they they get rammed out of existence by the enemy tank or they get hit or um, shot at the same time so yes it's very rare to get rock solids although some people do get them uh, and they're quite excited when they do get them at that. But I think what was good about this for 4-8 was getting the Defender Medal. Because if we look at the team score, we can see that uh, although uh, some of his team members did manage to get quite a bit of damage, um, only two members of his, only two other members of his team managed to get more than one kill. Um, he, did, he only got 36 hit points of damage himself, but he got one by shotgun, the other by ramming. Um, the high scorer in the entire game was the T29, who got 417 hit points. The second highest damage was the enemy strip M38, who got 347. And the third highest damage was the Renault UE57, uh, who managed to get 339. This is a low tier game, so obviously you would expect to get less damage. But uh, when it comes to the kills, that's when it gets interesting, because the high scorers were the LT Biz 38 on his team. And the three kills on the M2 medium on the enemy team. And there in the two kills is, uh, joint two kills, is 4-8 with his section 2. The TKS on his own team. And four members of the enemy team. The UE, the M2 light tank that killed him. The strip M38 and lastly their TKS. So he put up a good uh, defense at the end. And yes, I mean, just throw caution to the wind and go down there and see if you can ram kill somebody. Usually in uh, low tier battles, they've got very um, little hit points left. And usually a ram or a shotgun is enough to take them out. So let's have a look at detail. Seven shots fired, one direct hit, one penetration. That was the shotgun and one splash on the enemy. 36 hit points of damage. 11 hits received from the enemy, that was the auto cannon. 8 penetrations, 3 non penetrations, 12 hit, uh, hit points blocked by armor, um, 1 enemy vehicle spotted, 2 enemy vehicles damaged, 2 destroyed, and he managed to get 100 defense points. That is, he reset the cap enough to get the 100. I reckon the one, first one he actually took out. He must have uh, got something like 95. And because the other one was still in the cap and he turned around and then ram killed that one, he got the remaining hit points uh, or defense points off him. So he stopped it just in time. 4,185 credits from the game. 2,943 for the achievements award. That's for getting an epic or a battle hero medal in a losing or drawn game. 7,128. He still had plenty of ammo, so that's the credits that he took away. 155 XP, 145 for the Achievements Award, and 300 from Personal Reserves, took away 600. What a great little game that was. And uh, so congratulations for uh, getting that achievement and uh, knocking the uh, enemy or stopping their capping uh, and picking up a nice little defender. It's a kind of consolation prize when your team lets you down that way. But uh, yes, I'm sorry it took so long for us to get this replay done. 9th of December 2018. Yeah, it's quite long. <laughs>
I'm sorry, there are some replays I've got from way back when, possibly even as far back as 2017, that haven't been done. And the real reason is that every time Wargaming changes the client, there's always some that are left over and I haven't managed to get done. And it takes me a little while to catch up. But uh, be assured, they are in the list. I will get them done eventually. And uh, hopefully I'll get them done in a blitz sometime. Uh, get many, many done. But uh, I actually do have another replay from Full Range, and I'll be putting that one up next. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel and leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.